Good day from eastern Saudi Arabia, where we've had a Scud attack within the hour, and the Scud, or at least a remnant of the Scud, has struck the ground, apparently has struck an American housing unit. There are dead and there are injuries. Let's look at some videotape that was taken of the attack shortly after the Scud struck. The videotape will show flames in this housing unit. There was an explosion as the Scud, or a portion of the Scud, hit the ground near Dharan. We have from the scene a report that there are two confirmed dead. We don't know that they are Americans, just two individuals confirmed dead and many, many injured. There are at least 50 ambulances on the scene. The Pentagon is now confirming 12 dead and 25 injured after falling debris from an Iraqi Scud missile led to the destruction of a building that houses U.S. military personnel near Dahran, Saudi Arabia. From a distance, the building looked like all that was keeping it up were the bare remnants of the frame. Uh, all sides had been blown out. It was still standing, technically, but there were no walls, and there was uh, masses of debris, of wreckage, uh, just piled up on the bottom floor. It was a tragic chance hit. A portion of a Scud missile, most probably the warhead, crashed directly into a two-story building housing American service personnel. The building instantly was turned into a flaming wreck and a serviceman who was standing a few yards away at the time describes the horror of it. When I took off the roof, I had my mask on. They called all clear. It wasn't a chemical. It was just high explosive. As you can see, it's, a, it's total. The whole thing's gone. Ambulances immediately converged on the scene, followed closely by medical evacuation helicopters. Wounded were treated on the spot by medical personnel. The injured taken to nearby hospitals quickly, some even transported by a civilian bus. Outsiders were kept from the compound, but picked up information along the way. I saw a guy covered in blood up there who had pulled four people out. What was the condition of the people he pulled out? He said they were dead. And how did it happen that the Scud hit it all? Shortly after 8.30 in the evening, air raid sirens sounded over the Dharan Kobar area. An amateur photographer and his wife rushed outside. Watch what he caught on his videotape. Here we go, Linda. It's coming down. The U.S. command here in Saudi Arabia says the Scud missile was breaking up in the air by itself, a common occurrence for Scuds these days. Therefore, no Patriot missiles were fired to intercept it. The command says it was scattered debris that fell over the area. Tragically, it appears the debris that fell in the service personnel's compound contained the warhead, and the Scud warhead can contain up to 2,000 pounds of high explosive. Sam Donaldson, ABC News, in eastern Saudi Arabia.